So folks, one thing we've often explored is how Lauren Boebert, you can judge her poor character by the way she relates to her neighbors. That how you treat those around you, how you treat those in your day-to-day -day life, often reflects on how you would act when you're given any sort of power, like let's say being a high-level politician. And it turns out that Lauren Boebert's conduct vis-a-vis -vis her neighbors just hit a brand new, very disgusting low. And I want you to brace yourselves for this because it's absolutely difficult to discuss. Nonetheless, one of Lauren Boebert's neighbors just yesterday came out and said that Boebert killed one of her dogs. Killed one of her dogs dogs that was very familiar with the family that Bobert's own son had played with and at least according to her Bobert absolutely took this dog's life when it was not necessary in any way and I want to read you her comments and we'll break in with analysis from time to time but we have to go through this because while this may just seem like an interpersonal Bobert issue it's the exact kind of thing that demonstrates why she belongs nowhere near any levers of power and it says it took me a while to find the courage to want to publicly talk about the emotional trauma you caused me along with many others i was scared of the power you hold as a u.s representative for colorado third district i was scared of the way you are praised around this valley i was scared of the arrogance that your head is filled with while you carry a gun i was scared as your next door neighbor however i am writing this now to let you know that i am no longer scared of you on august 17th 2022 you took my best friend away with the power of your gun my two-year-old Husky Omega was taken away from my family and I in the course of a couple hours. Omega is not a violent dog. You, Miss Bobert, are aware of this. Your youngest son spent countless hours playing with her. He even would take her over to your house without our consent. We communicated with him to stop taking our dog, her off our property for safety reasons. We always allowed him to play with, on our property with our dogs. We welcomed him every single time. We even created a friendship with our younger cousins. You were aware of his actions yet never communicated with him to stop. So I I just want to break in there. This is critical because it is brave to come out and speak against a congressperson, especially when there you live close to them, especially when a lot of people around them are fans, especially like with Bobert and her family. There's been all of these accusations, at least of, you know, misconduct with regarding neighbors and all this conflict regarding neighbors. So kudos for this young woman to stand up to Bobert and actually bring out this scandal because it would have been much easier if traumatic for her to just bury it and pretend it never happened and just let Bobert get away with it. But she's coming out and speaking her truth. And she's making it very clear that this dog, if anything, was a friend to the Boberts, not a foe. And then it notes, Omega was in a wired friend's property. Her leaving the property was rare. On the other day, we had your dogs on our property multiple times. Your dogs would bark at my family and even scare us into not wanting to get out of our cars. The authorities were contacted, yet they did absolutely nothing. On one occasion, your dogs attacked my eldest dog and ripped a piece off her ear. Yet regardless of the harm they caused to my dogs, we never once had the heart to shoot them, mainly out of respect for you as our neighbor. Omega left our property on August 17th, 2022 in the early morning, and in a matter of a couple hours, I was out looking for her. I searched for her for five consecutive hours. I walked around yelling her name. I posted online to see if anyone had info, called all the nearby shelters, until I finally knocked on doors. As your neighbor, I would hope that you had the same respect for me that I had for you. I would have hoped you've had the decency to let us know you killed her. Instead, you waited until I knocked on your door after hours of hearing me yell her name. I did not find out from you that you killed her. I found out from the authorities who also handed me a citation for a dog at large along with the devastating news. I was given a citation, citation due to the fact that you were considering her to be violent. And so again, I, I, I think this is absolutely despicable from, from Bobert. Like Bobert is clearly trying to spread this story about this dog. I don't buy it for a second that this dog seems violent. If this lady is telling the truth and it really seems like she does. This dog is a very friendly dog that happened to get off the property, but again, was well acquainted with the Boberts. Their son in particular seemed like a friendly dog. And again, as noted, if the system was fair, Boberts dogs, if anything, are here being accused of being more aggressive, more violent, and yet no one took, you know, the chance, took the opportunity to take out one of their dogs. And I think it really shows that Bobert, if she really believed, if she honestly believed that this was like an incident where she had to make the regret 
regretful choice. She would have shown remorse. She would have shown tears probably and gone over to her neighbor with deep regret and apologies and say, I'm sorry I had to do this. That's what you would have done in my estimation if you actually stuck to the story. And it concludes here by saying, Omega, just like any other dog, has a wild instinct to hunt. And unfortunately, in this situation, she had gotten out and went into a familiar property, a place she had been because she had been taken there by your son and unfortunately hurt your goats. Any decent person would have grabbed my dog and had a conversation with the owner about the situation, yet you decided to grab her, shoot her, and then dump her far from the house. Your gun isn't the solution to all your problems. Communication on your end would have been appreciated. I was willing to help with the damages if you had communicated, but I hope, shoot I hope shooting my dog was enough for you. I hope that was the revenge you were seeking. Lastly, I hope as elections are coming up that people can learn and realize how heartless you truly are. The world is filled with corrupt, power-hungry people like you. We shouldn't be giving people like you positions of quote-unquote power in which you're in, yet unfortunately, here you are. And it's a sincerely Omega's best friend. And that critical point at the end is why I'm covering this. Because it's not really just about neighbors and a dog and some goats and a fence and property and citations and all of that. I don't want to downplay what this lady went through, but in isolation, this probably happens thousands of times a day in the United States and in other countries all over the world. Like this is just neighbor on neighbor stuff, even if it's despicable. But why it matters is it shows who Bobert is. It shows that she's the sort of woman that expects courtesy from others and expects lenience from others and expects welcoming from others and yet won't provide that in return. It shows a hypocrisy and a selfishness. And again, someone, especially someone with power, maybe the GOP takes back the house. Maybe she's given a position of power within her party. Someone in a position of power who sees violence as their first resort is not the kind of person I would want representing me at a local level or certainly with any levels of power in Washington. Now, we should say that Bobert has denied this. She's come out and said, you know, not that the, the dog hasn't died or anything, but she's denied that she played any role in this, that the story is false. So from Bobert's perspective, this is all quote unquote fake news, but I don't, I don't buy it personally. In my view, this is very credible that Lauren Bobert would do this. Lauren Bobert has shown time and time again in her personal conduct over the years and recently that whether it's as a boss or or whether it's as a family member, or whether, you know, remember that story with the ATV and her, her sister-in-law getting hurt and all of that, and her sort of soft abandoning them partially at the scene, all of those sorts of things. You know, fundamentally, guys, like how she acts with the people around her, the people that she's supposed to care and love the most, love your neighbor, Lauren, you're a good Christian, apparently, shows that she has no business in politics at any level. This is disgusting, guys. And I know a lot of you are animal lovers. I know a lot of you are looking for updates on this. Apparently, some local people are trying to reach out to authorities to really try to get some justice here. No updates there. But one thing we can all do is let everybody know, if you know anyone that lives in Colorado and anyone that lives in the 3rd District, that this is who Lauren Boebert is. This is the real Boebert. This is not the airbrush. This is not the fake things. This is not her trying to go on Fox and spit her narratives. This is the real Lauren Boebert. Front to back, this is her when no one's supposedly watching, and now you need to have her defeated by Adam Frisch, a man who absolutely would be a massive upgrade over any Republican, of course, but certainly over Lauren Boebert. Again, if Lauren Boebert will do this to a neighbor, to the dog of a neighbor that was loved by her son, what she'll... What would she do to any random stranger that she doesn't like? It scares me. It terrifies me.